even recognizable right now. Yeah, Fox 59's Hannah Fullman has spent the day talking with residents about last night's storms, and she joins us now live in Selma with the very latest. Hannah, what are you seeing there? That's right. Unfortunately, it was a devastating night here in Selma, the town of Selma, with less than 800 people living here. But luckily, nobody was majorly injured. We're only hearing minor injuries at this hour. One person was taken to the hospital, and I'll let you take a look at some of the damage cleanup, some of those cleanup efforts that are happening right now. We've seen about 15 different trucks from different power companies across the state trying to restore power to this small town and just continue those cleanup efforts. And people are really stepping up in this town. Now walking you back through last night, people living here tell us they first got alert on their phone around eight o'clock last night and they say they're just lucky to be alive. It sounded like a train. It really did and things just started blowing around and we went in the house and got undercover. Tim Gully has called Selma, Indiana home his entire life, but he never thought his small town of less than 800 people would experience a storm like the one from Thursday night. When we came out in the daylight and actually seen all the damage, it was unreal. It was just unbelievable. Just after 8 p.m., a tornado swept through the small town, leaving many homes damaged and some unlivable. You just don't think that it's going to ever happen to you and here I am. Fortunately, emergency officials tell us there were no major injuries. At least one person was taken to the hospital, but is expected to be okay. That was awesome. I think God was watching over all of us. Now the cleanup begins and people living here say the response has already been incredible. Amazing. I mean, like I said, our town is a small, close knit community. And when something happens in this town, we all pull together. People were running out. What do you need? Do you, what kind of help do you need? The community effort to bring this neighborhood back together was really impressive. And as those cleanup efforts continue, Tim Gully says he's ready to help out his neighbors and friends rebuild this community, taking it one day at a time. I know most of the people in this town and everybody has stepped up. The hope is power will be restored in the next few days. For now, I'll send it back to you at the desk. Okay, Hannah, thank you. State and local officials are